Hello, hello, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Did you know that John Lennon had a car that became iconic and is painted in a very psychedelic way? We're going to talk in this video a little bit about it. So stick around. Now music stars can afford lavish car collections or order custom designed cars exclusively, but none of them are going to be as iconic as those used by rock stars of the last century in the 1960s and 1970s. They have given us cars that have become real stars just like their famous owners like this psychedelic Rolls-Royce that was once owned by John Lennon. The story of this Rolls-Royce is interesting and not just because of its decor. John Lennon acquired this Rolls-Royce Phantom 5 in the 60s, or rather in 1964, when he didn't even have a driver's license yet. The car was totally black, just like the ones Queen Elizabeth II used. Quite a bold move on Hitler's part. But it seems the image performer quickly got bored of the understated look of his beautiful car, so artist and designer Mariska Koga gave Lennon a brilliant idea to redesign his car. In May of 1967, the Immaculate Phantom entered the body workshops of J.P. Fallon LTD to be redone, following a design by artist Steve Weaver. The colors and floral patterns used are the same as those used by the Roma on wagons. Quite a statement when applied to a luxurious Rolls Royce. Only the chrome parts were spared from receiving a new design. Inside a powerful custom indoor-outdoor sound system, a TV, a phone and a fridge were added. Lennon's flashy new car left the body shop on May 26, 1967, amidst high anticipation from the public and the press. While the car was being redecorated in the workshop, the Beatles were in the middle of recording the Sgt. Pepper album. So you can imagine this car served as the perfect sidekick to promote that new album. Lennon regularly used the car until 1969, but it should also be said that shortly after unveiling the new look of his first Rolls Royce, he bought another identical one in white, much less eye-catching. In 1969, the yellow Rolls Royce car traveled to the United States and was loaned to other music stars such as the Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan or the Moody Blues for some of their travels. In 1977, Lennon, overwhelmed by debt, decided to donate his car to the Cooper Hewitt Museum of the Smithsonian Institution in the United States. It's worth noting that this museum was the only one dedicated to both contemporary and historical design, and well, thanks to this donation, Lennon was able to breathe from those tax debts that were weighing him down. Years later, in 1987, the museum sold the Rolls-Royce to Canadian millionaire Jim Patterson for no less than $2.3 million, and in 1993, Patterson donated the Phantom to the Royal British Columbia Museum in the city of Victoria, Canada, where it is currently located. What do you think of this wonderful car? Have you ever seen it? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, share and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. See you in the next video. Goodbye.